Hi guys, welcome to the Mindset Elevator. It's Andrea. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And before I begin my video, I want to take the time to thank all of my subscribers and all of my viewers for supporting, for rocking with me, for going up in my elevator every single time that I post, for the positive cheer, for the commentary. I really appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. You guys are blessed. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I just wanted to express my extreme thanks. Thank you guys so much. So are you guys ready to go up a level today? Okay. People have slept on you. People have it's almost like people have lost the opportunity of a lifetime, either being with somebody like you, working with somebody like you, okay, collaborating, being a friend with somebody like you. A lot of these people slept on you. A lot of these people thought that they knew exactly who you were going to be. They knew, they claimed that they knew or they're acting like they knew exactly where you were going to end up, exactly how much you were going to achieve. These people slept on you. They discredited you. Like they actually, it's almost like they undermined your intelligence. They didn't know how vast your mind really was. They didn't know how creative you really were. They didn't realize that you held a greater power. You hold a greater power. You have a stronger will. You fight for your dreams. They didn't realize this, okay? And so a lot of people slept on you. They put you to the wayside. Maybe that employer that you were almost, you know, you were trying to get that job, you were trying to get that position and the employer or the boss looked down on you. They didn't think you were smart enough. They didn't think you were strong enough. They didn't think that you had the resilience to do the job. They didn't think that you'd be trustworthy or whatever they thought. They just did not think you were the right candidate. Okay. They missed out. They lost out. Okay. Don't feel sad when these people almost question your work ethic or make it seem like you're not good enough to join the team. A lot of times these things will bring us down. They'll bring us in these low vibes where we feel like, okay, so I got rejected from here, from there. This guy don't like me. This girl don't want to be with me. Like things are not working out. No one wants to work with me, collaborate with me. Like, am I even good enough? These sort of things, when you start thinking negative thoughts in your head, when negative thoughts start to infiltrate your mind, go into your headspace so deep that you cannot create, you cannot get up out of the bed, you're depressed, you're sad, you're feeling low. We have to rewire the way that we think. People have slept on you. And because people have slept on you, you may have, as a result, slept on yourself. You started to realize, maybe, or maybe you started to think, hey, I don't think I'm good enough. Hey, I don't think I'm strong enough. Hey, I don't think I'm smart enough. Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not, I don't have a good resume. Maybe I'm not the best type of person that they'd want to be with. But a lot of these people judged you too soon. Okay. They didn't give you a chance to show who you were, really were, what you could be capable of. They did not give you a chance. And so because they didn't give you a chance, they feel like, they won or they proved something here. They showed you. They showed you who you really were. You have to know who you are. You have to know what you have in you. You have to know your inner strength. You cannot go off life, go through life based off of other people's opinions of you. This will bring you down. Okay, this will make you feel bad about yourself. And a lot of people around us may make us feel bad about ourselves because they sleep on us. They don't like our ideas. They don't like how we think. They don't, they don't rock with what we rock with. And so it's going to make us feel like, oh, maybe we're doing too much. Maybe we're not doing enough. Maybe I'm in over my head. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm trying to take on. Maybe I, I wasn't qualified for the job, but you know, deep down, you really were. You know, deep down what your worth really looks like. Like, so you have to make sure that when these people sleep on you, when they decide, nah, you're not good enough for me, nah, you don't look good enough for me, no, you're not smart enough for me, no, you're not wise enough, you're not strong enough. When these people make the determination, when they have their own idea of who you are and they sleep on you, just make sure you don't sleep on yourself because this is what matters most. When you give up on yourself, that's when you go downhill. I'm telling you, that is when you're really going to go downhill. Not when these people try to tell you, oh, you're not good enough. No, I don't want to work with you. No, I don't think you're strong enough. No, I don't think you're wise enough. That's not going to hurt. That's not going to, that's not going to have a lasting impact. You will feel the weight if you sleep on yourself. 
If you sleep on yourself, it's over because now the negative thoughts and almost like the, ne the negative chat that you put on yourself, the thoughts that have now invaded your mind, invaded your headspace, have made you succumb, succumb to the idea that you're not good enough, succumb to the idea that you're never going to be good enough ever for anybody, for any situation, which is false. Never sleep on yourself. It could be a hundred people sleeping on you. It could be a hundred people saying you're never going to be good enough. But these hundred people are not being divinely guided. These hundred people are in the matrix. The hundred people, you know, they don't know what they want. They, they're they arrogant people. They don't know where they're going. But you know, don't fall to the trap. Don't fall to the wayside because these people feel like you're not good enough for them. You know who you are. You're good enough for God. God sees you in the best type of way, in the best sort of light. This is why you were chosen. You were chosen to do big things. So you cannot sleep on yourself. You cannot afford to sleep on yourself. I mean, you have to know your power here. This is where knowing your power matters most. Okay, like you have to make sure that you know who you are. These people don't have a clue what you're capable of. And that's why you continue to shock people every time you bounce back. They thought they knew you. That's why they dismissed you. They felt like you weren't good enough. So this is why they put you to the side. They chose someone who maybe looked a little more beautiful than you. Maybe had a little more money than you. Maybe had a house. You had a shack. Who knows? They, for whatever reason, they decided that they did not want to work with you. They didn't want to have you on their team. They didn't want to have you in a relationship with them. So you decided, hey, whatever. You just do what you do. You got to do what you do. You got to do what's best for you. You cannot let these people infiltrate your mind and change the way you think about yourself or even question your ethics, question your resume, question your academics, question your intelligence. But you know who you are, though. Okay, you know who you are. That's the magic. This is beautiful. You know who you are. So you have to own it here. Do not sleep on yourself. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big mistake. That is when you'll truly feel lowest of the low. You don't want to feel if you think these people are making you feel low, it's going to feel even worse. You're going to hit rock bottom when you sleep on yourself. You do not want to hit rock bottom because of the own things, your, your own things, the things that you're feeding your own self, feeding your mind. Don't do it to yourself. These people can do whatever they want, but do not do it to yourself, though, because you know the power you hold. You know who you are. OK, knowing who you are is powerful here. This is how everything flourishes. If you know who you are, then, you know, these people don't know what they're talking about. It's chit chat. They don't know nothing about you. They don't know where you're going. They don't know where you're headed. They can't see that high. But you know where you're supposed to be. So hone in on to that. And I'm telling you, do not sleep on yourself, guys. Thank you guys so much for leveling up with me today on my elevator, on my mindset elevator. I post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for my new subscribers who do not know, or for anybody who may have forgot. I do lives Friday nights or Saturday nights. It just depends. I try to do it, you know, every weekend, but, you know, I try. So thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I appreciate all of you deeply. Thank you so, so much for the good cheer, for the positive vibes, for the high vibes. And where are we trying to get to? The penthouse, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.